UNG. They call this camp in Calais on France's north coast the jungle. Only a few weeks ago, it housed about 3,000 people. French authorities say the population now has doubled as more migrants come in and fewer are able to move on across the channel to the United Kingdom. As winter approaches, inhabitants of the makeshift camp say the falling temperatures are making life harder. Yeah. So, too, is the language barrier that divides migrants from different countries, according to 27-year-old Mohammed from Sudan. And life sometimes, uh, nationality fighting, Sudan against Afghanistan, fighting, all kind of something literal thing because of, I don't understand what you are saying, and he don't understand what you are saying. French authorities say Pas de Calais is receiving more asylum requests than any other French department. 2,100 since the beginning of the year. That's up from 900 last year and 300 the year before. The influx of newcomers has prompted some longtime Calais residents to try to leave, according to this man who works at a furniture removal company. I know people who want to move away, but their problem is they can't sell their homes. There are migrants, so people don't dare buy. Britain's interior ministry has declined to comment on the recent increase of migrants. And those who fled war and poverty in Africa and the Middle East now sit in limbo in France.